What's up guys, this is Valentino with Bigger Creations and today I'm gonna to be mixing your songs. Just kidding, I already took them out of the box. I should have gotten these years ago. I don't know why I didn't. I think I just didn't prioritize it. It was just on the bottom of my list when it came to gear. I feel less cluttered over here at my desk. Like before, you don't understand. Like it was literally like my monitor was right here and right here and it just made the whole setup so crowded and now I just feel like it doesn't take up any of my desk space and I actually have them on the right level as far as height. I'm sure you guys already have solutions for your monitors but uh, if you are interested I'll put a link in the description. Not sponsored, just totally letting you know that I love these. Today I'm going to be mixing your songs and if you follow me on Instagram then you know that I put out a request on my stories to get uh, project files, stems, whatever you guys have for me to mix and showcase how I would mix it in this video. So uh, if you want to be a part of this in the future then make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where these requests are going to be coming through. But um, yeah, let's just dive right in because this is going to take a minute. I'm going to mix one of your guys' songs. So. I'll show you exactly what I do. So this song was sent to me by Lil Junior 33. Um, shout out. Thanks for sending this over. You sent a couple of songs over, but I decided to kind of work on this one. Uh, it's called Roller Coaster, and I'm just going to kind of play a little bit of it so that you guys can get a feel for what it is. And then I'll show you uh, how I'm going to mix this. So this is exactly how he sent it to me. Roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold ya right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold ya right next to me Cause when we're falling down I feel like I can't breathe I know there's reasons to be scared It's natural, but passing you was something all fair You were looking mighty fine, I'd find the signs there No ring, but you gave me that eye to come near You were sipping on some wine and So wine there you have it, that's a little preview of what, we've, what we're working with here so the first thing I like to do is just kind of organize the files here. Obviously, he's got some other takes here um, that we're not using. So I'm going to get rid of those. All right. So basically, I organized everything into separate tracks. And the first thing I'm going to do is name these. So this is the lead chorus vocal. OK, so now that we got these all named, I know what they are. And for example, if I actually put everything at zero, let's let's hear what we got going on here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up the uh, pitch correction, how he had it. Um, and let's see, we're going to do it's a E major, I believe. This roller coaster. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that the singing verses all have the proper pitch correction on them. This roller coaster scaring me. In this situation, we have a two track beat and then we've got vocals on top of it which is probably something that you guys run into a lot if you've purchased a beat or licensed a beat or received a beat from a producer that's already been mixed and mastered uh, then you run into this struggle of like okay how do I make my vocals sound like they're a part of this mix where it's already been mixed so 
Uh, the first thing I like to work on is the actual instrumentals. So let's start with the instrumental. There's a couple things that I like to do to make sure it doesn't feel flat. So the first thing I do um, is one, I gain stage it. And the reason we want to gain stage it is because obviously this track, if you look at the waveform, it's already been uh, super compressed. It's been mixed and mastered. And so it's going to be coming in at like barely clipping because it's it's that's what it was designed to do to be as loud as it could possibly be without clipping so in this case where we're bringing it into a session and we're going to be adding vocals and potentially other effects to this track we want to make sure that it's not too loud so that it's not causing distortion and clipping as we affect it um so that's the first thing we're going to do here so i went down to utility and gain and then put it down by about 9.3 so it's going to be a little lower. So if we're looking at our levels here, it's still really loud. Um, so I'm going to use the actual volume knob to put it down. for the vocals when they come in. The next thing that I like to do is actually bus out um, some compression. And basically I'm doing a parallel compressor of the two track and uh, you're gonna see why I like to do this. So I've already got my buses set up here in my session, but essentially what I did is I just set up a bus, put the send all the way to 100% and added a compressor. And here, here are the compression settings I have. And I'm gonna show you actually here. So basically what I'm sending is a copy of this two track to this bus that's being heavily compressed. And this is what that compressed sound sounds like. So if I play this without the bus, and then I'm gonna turn on the bus. It's almost like it added a little bit more volume and it added some of that mid-range tone that kind of got lost to begin with. So I really, really love doing a uh, parallel compression to the beat. And then the next bus is actually something similar that I do with my vocals, but it's basically to boost some of those high frequencies. So I've bust out another channel with an EQ and basically I've taken out all of the low frequencies and boosted some of the high frequencies. And then I've slowly mixed that into the beat so that uh, it just adds a little bit more of that high range. So uh, watch this without it. So we've got the MP3 without anything on it. If you're listening to this on monitors, which you should be if you're watching a mixing tutorial, like, or mixing headphones, what it, the best situation you have possible, then you're really gonna notice the difference on these. So that's enough for the actual music. Uh, the instrumental should be good. We'll kind of mess with the volume knob as we start adding the vocals to make sure that our mix is staying around that negative six sweet spot. All right, so that's for the instrumental. Now uh, let's add in the first lead vocal. We've got our pitch correction on there. Typically, if you have pitch correction, I like to do that first before I start impacting everything. Um, so let's see here. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold ya. So, the first thing I'm gonna do here is gain stage it. And uh, actually, what I'm gonna pull in here is one of my own presets, which this preset is available on my website for download. This will actually add this chain of effects. I'm gonna break down exactly and tweak them. So now that I added the vocal chain, my uh, auto-tune came off. So let me just put that back on there. Here we go. Okay, and then let's mess with the game. Okay, 
Okay, so you'll notice the first thing I added here is an NLS channel, and this is just to add a little bit of that analog saturation, um, which I've talked about in my videos before, and I've learned from other producers. I just really love the sound uh, of just adding, it just makes the vocals a little bit more crispy. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but a little bit of analog saturation can go a long way. So that's what this plugin is doing. I usually set it to about 3.1 and leave this at the one knob, and then you can actually switch it between spike mic and nevo to kind of see what kind of sound you're getting but um this is pretty standard i add this to all of my vocal channels and uh, i just love the quality of sound it adds to it so we're going to add the analog saturation this is without with the ups and downs go round and round again. So the next step on any vocal is I like to do some EQ. Now this is what I have on my default. Obviously I'm going to cater this to each vocal individually. So let's take a listen to what it's doing. Uh, the main principles here is you want to take off a lot of the low end, probably around uh, to 200 and up is where you want to actually have your vocals sit. Um, you want this part of the frequency range to be saved for your kick, your bass, and anything that's kind of in that lower register. So um, usually you want to roll off all of that low end and then roll off a little bit of the high ends, the very, very high ends, because we don't need those. So let's listen to what this is doing and then I'll, I'll kind of tweak it. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. So I like what this is doing. Typically there's like a boxy sound coming in the 3K range. So I've lowered that and uh, I've boosted some of those high frequencies just to get a little bit more of that like crispiness. Um, and then uh, this is a kind of a good frequency to boost around the 2k range somewhere around there usually is where vocals sit i am hearing like some sort of frequency here that i don't like that's a little boxy so let me move these over i'm going to add another eq to kind of mess with it so let's see eq me the ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like right there, it sounds like breathe. really boxy. So the reason I've exaggerated it is just so that I can really hear what's happening in that frequency range. So now that I know that that's the frequency I don't like, I'm gonna take it out. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Okay, so that should do it for the EQ. This is without the EQ. Coaster with it. scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets And you know what? I feel like it's a little too thin, and since it's a male voice, I'm going to actually move this over just a little bit so it rolls off a little less of the low end. Coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. That sounds good. Okay. Um, the next thing we do is our first round of compression, and I've used uh, the Renaissance compressor for this, and... Um, Let's let's see where these settings lie. Me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round. So it's doing some great steep. initial compression. Uh, then what I like to do is come here to the multipressor. Again, this is set up to my presets. The first thing we want to do is make sure that these bands are set up where we want them to. Usually, I kind of just listen to the low end soloed, and uh, 
listen to where in that frequency range I want it to be affected. Usually it's around like somewhere between 100 and 200 hertz. Uh, right here I've got it at 120 and I think that's probably the sweet spot, but I'll show you what it sounds like. So I've added some compression here and essentially what we're doing is we're, we're really just compressing each frequency range to make sure that, um, you know, now that we've boosted some frequencies and taken out some frequencies in the EQ, we're ready to compress what's left and just make sure that everything's in check. So um, I've adjusted my bands. This one's at 2K and this one's at 7. And then um, here's where I've set my thresholds. So I set my threshold for my low end to be at negative 27, then negative 19 for the low mid, negative uh, 38 for the high mids, and then for the highs, negative 47. Um, so let's let's take a listen to see what this is doing. So without it. Because when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster. See how it just brings some me. life to the vocal? I'm absolutely a huge fan of multi band compressors because they really can help you control the frequencies and compress the, the parts of the vocal that you really want. Um, and this isn't just for vocals, this is for anything. So, so far, um, without. And with. So, it's already sounding a lot better. Um, next, we're going to add a de esser because now that we've boosted some frequencies and compressed a lot of things, uh, those. S's and P's are really going to come through, so we want to make sure that we have those in control. Um, so here's what comes with my default setting. So I go up to this frequency and then just mess with the threshold until you see that you're getting some uh, compression happening to de-S it. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster. Okay, so that looks me. about right. Then we go to my favorite. If you've been watching this channel, you know that this is like my favorite plugin, hands down. And this is where the magic happens, especially with the volume. But uh, it's RVox by Waves. And uh, this is my default setting on my preset. Let's take a listen and see if that works for this. Coaster, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold you. Now, obviously, right once you me. add a compressor, it's going to especially um, bring out those breaths and little pops and things between your words. Um, so that's where vocal comping comes into play. You obviously want to clean those up. Because I'm just showing you the mixing side and not like some of the editing side, I'm going to skip over that. So just ignore those pops and things, you know, like the breaths in between. Usually I would tone those down or get rid of them depending on how we want to go with the with the track. But uh, I'm not going to spend time on that in this video. But uh, just know that those will definitely be emphasized when you add compression to your vocals. So that's where the comping really comes in handy. You want to make sure that you've edited that kind of stuff out. Um, but for now, we'll keep it in there. So now that we've added some compression, I'm just going to add another de -er just as kind of a precaution. So this de -er, I'm setting it up at the 6,000 hertz range. Um, and let's see if this default Coaster, works just fine. Coaster, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round and so you'll see it's happening sleep. when the S's happen. And that's how we know it's working. Um, so I'm going to leave it at this setting. And then the last thing I add, and I know a lot of people like don't like to add reverb to their first chain, but 
this is what I like to do. Uh, aside from busting out some reverb and other effects, I do add some preliminary reverb on the vocal chain. So I use H reverb from Waves. And the, the most important thing here is one, you gotta make sure that your timing is right. So uh, I have a separate video where I talk about how to calculate the proper reverb time for your reverb on your vocals. But just as a quick refresher, basically you get 60,000, 60,000, um, divide that by your song's BPM, which is 96 in this case. And then every time you divide that by two, it puts you down like from 16th note to an eighth note to a fourth note. So in this case, I'm thinking I want like a one eighth type reverb. So I'm gonna divide this by two and divide it by two again. That gives me 156. So I've gotta have this to be 156 as my reverb time. And then if you divide whatever you decide to be your reverb time, if you divide that by two, then that gives you the proper pre-delay time, which is 78. So let's put that up there. And then here you can kind of just mess with how much you want to be affected. So let's take a listen. Uh, the other thing that I like to do with my reverbs is make sure that they're EQ'd in a way where only those mids are coming through. You don't want too many high frequencies and you don't want too many low frequencies. A lot of uh, reverbs have EQ built into them like this one, but if it doesn't, then that's where you wanna bus out your reverb and then on that same bus, add an EQ to EQ the rest of that reverb out. Um, so let's take a listen to what this is doing. Coaster, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster uh, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too okay. steep. So that does it for our main chain. Now, what I go ahead and do to that lead vocal is I actually bust out uh, four different buses three of which are included in my preset chain that, again, is available on my website if you're interested in it. But basically, I'm gonna break it down for you here. So if you have these plugins, you can do this. Um, basically, um, I add one that is for parallel compression, similar to what we did to the actual beat. We're, we're basically sending this super, super compressed version of the vocal to a bus and then adding that a little bit into the mix to add a little bit more of that mid range and that crunch in the middle. So basically with that one, I added 100% in here. And what I've added is a CLA compressor just to really compress the vocal. And these are my settings. Um, and then I've added a limiter just to kind of make sure that that keeps it in check. So I set it up to 100% here and then I mess with the volume knob on the fader for the parallel compression. Um, and add that into taste. So let's take a listen to this setting here. This roller coaster uh, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold you Perfect. right next to and me. And then let's add our high end vocal strip. And basically, what I'm doing here is I'm sending a super compressed high end vocal. So basically I've taken out all of these lower frequencies and just just have these high frequencies and this is going to help add some clarity to the vocal and just make it pop. So I've added a de-esser, some compression there, again heavily compressing this, and then some delay as well. So uh, let's take a listen to what this sounds like with it added in here. Hey. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster uh, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. Okay. That should do it for now. Let's see what it sounds like with the music here. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need to hold you right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. 
this roller coaster scaring me. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add here is a doubler. And basically I'm just busting out some doubling effects uh, just to add some width, especially for the chorus. So these are my settings and I'm doing the same thing. I'm turning the bus all the way up and then I'm slowly adding the doubler um, to taste. So, so let's put that all the way up. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold ya right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold ya right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. Okay, that's good for now. I can tweak it later if I need to. The next thing I do here is I add a long verb. And basically this is just a reverb, uh, very, very wet, and I kind of just bust it in. Again, just remember to EQ out what you need to in the reverb to make sure that it doesn't get super muddy. But um, I just kind of add this into taste. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold ya right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. Okay, so it's sounding good so far. So what I'm gonna do now is all this work that we've done on that main vocal, Let's use that as a starting point for our other vocals. So before we go to the rap verse, um, let's set up a backup vocal chain so that we can make sure that this chorus is ready to go. So for this, I'm going to use my backup vocal chain preset, um, and I'll kind of just break it down for you guys here. So here's my preset. I'm going to set the gain to similar to my other one, which is around 9.5. Let's see about 10.7 on that one. So I'm gonna assume that these vocals were recorded in the same place, same environment, same volume-ish. So I'm gonna gain stage them about the same. And then um, the first thing that I do here is I add a compressor and these are my settings. And then as normal, we gotta DS it because it's a vocal. So we wanna make sure it's DS and get the compression out of those uh, S's and then this is this is where the processing of backup vocals is in my opinion very different than the main vocals I'm doing a lot more subtraction and I'm really really boosting the high end because we've got the mid-range from that main vocal we don't need our backup vocals to be there we want them to actually feel big and wide when they come in with the vocals so that's where I like to add more of that top end frequency to the backup vocals um, because it just sits really, really nicely with the main vocal that way. And you'll notice I've actually still subtracted some of the same frequencies that I subtracted in the main vocal, but I've subtracted more of them. Um, and again, always roll off that low end. We don't need all of that low end, especially for backup vocals. You can actually be more aggressive. So. On our main vocal, we rolled off right around here a little bit before, you know, in the 190 range, but with the backup vocals, we can take out a lot of that meat. So I've pushed it to about 300. Um, so let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Coaster, scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round. It gets too Roller coaster scaring me. Actually, I just realized we don't have our pitch correction on here, so let's do that. We've got major E and fast. Downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a hold ya right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like 
Then I add some additional EQ. And really what I'm doing here is I'm only adding more high end and totally cutting out from the low end. So you can kind of take a look at the settings here, but um, I've taken out a lot of low frequencies and I have a full video where I talk about my backup vocal chain. I'll link to it up here, but um, you can see those settings and a more specific breakdown of why I'm doing the things that I'm doing on this backup vocal. But in general, what you need to know is we're compressing the backup vocal a lot more than the lead vocal and we're making sure that we're adding more high frequencies, taking out a little bit of the mid, and completely taking out all the low frequencies from the backup vocals. And that's gonna make sure that your backups sit really well with your lead vocal. Um, so that's what I've got here. We added another compressor, and then of course a multi-band compressor, similar to the lead vocal. Um, then added some chorus, chorusing to make it feel a little bit wider and some additional compression just to keep it in check and a stereo imager this is this is one of my favorite stereo imaging plugins because it is super super simple but really just accomplishes what you're looking for which is just a little bit of a wider sound so I just leave this to the default I don't even mess with it but if you want to go super super wide all you have to do is mess with this knob here so let's hear what this is doing so uh, what I'm going to do here is, uh, again, this is all broken down in my backup vocals mixing video, which I'll link up here. But basically, I'm busting out some reverb. So I've got my backup reverb and then my backup delay. Um, and so I'm not gonna talk too much about these, but essentially, same as my lead vocals, I'm putting these up 100%, and then to taste, I'm putting it in through the buses here. So let's take a listen. Now I'm going to copy this lead track and put it onto the rap and let's let's mess with it there. I know there's reasons to be scared. It's natural but pass you with something no fair. You were looking mighty fine that find the signs there. No ring but you gave me that I become near. You were sipping on some wine and I know I did. But I'm sure this shit was stronger than wine. This ain't real. You were giving me shit and I oh, So what you'll notice here is with the lead vocal, I have it a lot more wet on that initial reverb, but then on the rap vocal, I've just put that down quite a bit. So it's down to 5.2 from 22.6. So quite a difference. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, and then I've lowered a little bit of the long reverb so that it's not too messy. Because with rap vocals, it's it's different from something melodic. You you have big, quick phrases, and you want to make sure that cuts off, and you move on to the next phrases more quickly. So. I know there's reasons to be scared. It's natural, but past you was something no fair. You were looking mighty fine, that find the signs there. No ring, but you gave me that I had to come near. You were sipping on some wine, and I know I did. But I'm sure this shit was stronger than wine. This ain't real. You were giving me shit, and I was giving you ear. Fools of what you wanted to hear. I'm just clear, like, baby, I ain't been a stunt. I got my. Let's work on the backup for the rap, and I'm just gonna use, again, starting from the chorus backup and going from there. I know there's reasons to be scared. It's natural, but past you was something no fair. You were looking mighty fine, that find the signs there. No ring, but I did come in. And I know I did, but I'm sure 
this shit was stronger than wine and sangria You were giving me shit and I was giving you ear Fools of what you wanted to hear I made it clear like Baby, I ain't finna stunt I got mine, you got yours You a winner, you won I been that, I been on My new beginnings begun I just want a little while about my side for the fun Huh? Life lessons have come Then again, it all depends on who we're getting them from I got gems, little mama Begetting the sun And we can shine on this ride That we set to be strong Let's get it, y'all And downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a whole girl right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster. I know there's reasons to be scared. It's natural, but past you was something I was fair. You were looking mighty fine, I'd find the signs there. No ring, but you gave me that I to come in. You were sipping on some wine, and I had no idea. But I'm sure this shit was stronger than wine and sangria. You were giving me shit, and I was giving you ear. Fools of what you wanted to hear. I made it clear, like, baby, I ain't been a stunt. I got mine, you got yours. You were winning, you won. I've been that, I've been on. My new beginnings begun. I just want a little while to buy my side for the fun, huh? Life lessons have come, then again it all depends on who we're getting them from I got gems, little mama, but getting the sun How we can shine on this ride, let's set the scary me I know there's reasons to be scared, it's natural But past you was something I was fair You were looking mighty fine, I'd find the signs there No ring, but you gave me that eye to come in You were sipping on some wine So I took out some of the doubler, um on the the bus for the rap verse just because i felt like it was diluting it a little bit and we want the rap to kind of come in a little bit more punchy so that's what i did there and then just some basic mixing with the faders just to kind of see the balance of sounds here i know there's reasons to be scared it's natural but past you was something now fair you were looking mighty fine that fine and if you can tell here no we're we're in a good place here as far as the overall level of the mix. We're around that negative six. So, um, you know, overall, when you start kind of messing with the faders, that's where you want to be looking. Because essentially, once you've got your mix, then you want to make sure you have enough headroom so that when you go to master it, you can maximize as much volume as possible during the mastering process. Bring what you gave me that I to come in. You was sipping on the ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a whole job right next to me. Cause when we're falling down, I feel like I can't breathe. This roller coaster scary me. The ups and downs go round. Move on to the last verse. I know that you want to ride. I know that you're feeling the same way inside. So I'm going to just copy that lead vocal chain on here. I could put my pride aside. I could hold your hands and look you in the eyes. And tell you that it's mutual, baby. I think about you every day and go crazy. I think that we ought to go and take the risk. It's this thing called love. We craving. We craving. So amazing. Fuel to the fire, we blazing. I wanna run with you till I daze in. Got me gazing. Got me gazing. You got all my loving. Ain't no need to fear. What we both been searching for okay, is here. Let's do the backups real quick. I know that you want to ride. I know that you're feeling the same way inside. I could put my pride aside. I could hold your hands and look you in the eyes. And tell you that it's mutual, baby. I think about you every day and go crazy. I think that we ought to go and save the rest. It's this thing called love. We craving. We craving. So amazing. To the fire we blazing. I wanna run with you till I daze in. Got me gazing, got me gazing. You got all my loving. Ain't no need to fear. 
So we've got the mix pretty much where we want it, um, you know, for an hour's worth of work here. But um, just for fun, I'm going to master it a little bit and then kind of just show you guys the before and after. I have a separate video where I talk about mastering and how I do it. But um, I'm just going to go with a preset that I have here and make some tweaks and show you guys the finished product. And again, you know, this is just an hour's worth of work. Obviously, you'd want to fine tune this a little bit better, um, as well as doing some of the vocal editing that I had talked about with getting the breaths and stuff like that. This will kind of give you an idea of what we've done just with some simple EQ compression and reverb. This roller coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep. I need a coaster scaring me. The ups and downs go round and round, it gets too steep.